One amp manufacturing company that I've wanted to add something from their line of amps to my collection for a while is the incredible Bogner amplification. Now, I've owned some Bogner products in the past, mostly their pedals, and I've been absolutely blown away every time I own one of their products. I love it. Their Ecstasy Red, Ecstasy Blue, and some of their other pedals are truly fantastic offerings. I've had friends in the past who've owned Bogner Ecstasy heads and I've had an opportunity to try those and they never disappoint. Well, I recently added to my collection the Bogner Ecstasy 3534. Three channel amp, lots of voicing possibilities and I've got to say an extremely versatile amp with some truly incredible tones all the way from clean to full on all out distorted craziness if we want to go there. And it does everything in between as well too. So I've created captures of this amp for Tonex, Neural Amp Modeler and Quad Cortex. I'm gonna showcase those for you today. Links are below to all of the different capture collections over at my website if you're so inclined. But I wanna let you hear them out of the mix and then I'm gonna put snippets of them in the mix as well so you can get to hear how these both work out of the mix and in a full production. Production. So without further ado, let's dive right in. We'll start off with Tonex, we'll go over to Nam, and then we'll finish off with Quad Cortex. And I really hope you enjoy what you hear. So here we are starting off with Tonex. I just wanted to mention that I'm only gonna be showcasing the amp and cab captures today. Although for NAM and Tonex, there are full-blown DI captures, which is just the amp head captured without a speaker cabinet for those that like to work that way. And the links are below to all of those. So here's the naming convention that I used for these JSX Stasi 35L. Now the L is denoting where I had the excursion switch set to this, and it was on the L setting. This amp is capable of a lot of tones. There is an excursion switch on it that I'm gonna be exploring more in other captures, but I just wanted to keep the capture collection a little more concise. These tones are all going to be set on the L excursion setting on the amplifier. So what I have here is 1.1, 1.1, 1.1, and B1, B2. So there's also a voicing switch on these channels. The effect of this voicing switch becomes less apparent as we add more overdrive and distortion. So there are certain tones on here I didn't bother to do numerous captures because I didn't really feel it was offering anything. But we have N, which is neutral, B1, and B2. And you'll notice 1.1 is channel 1. The first number is the channel. And the second number is kind of the gain level on that channel. So the 1.1 is going to be channel one, very clean with the different voicings. 1.2 is going to be a second level of gain on channel one with those different voicings. Then we go to channel two, where there's going to be the most tones here. We're going to have first level of gain with the different voicings, second level of gain, third level of gain. But the fourth level of gain, I didn't bother doing the N, B1, B2, because it wasn't really providing that much of a difference. And then on the third channel, I really didn't find there was any necessity to capture all the different voicings. Things. Uh, we just got kind of one level and two levels of gain here. So I'll take you through these. Starting off with the neutral setting on the voicing. This is the first level of gain, the cleanest we're going to get this amp. I'm playing my Gibson Les Paul standard. <laughs> That's just on the bridge pickup. Back to the bridge now. This is going to get a little brighter as we go to B1. It's a little bit thinner. Sounds great on the neck. You can hear the difference. If we move to B2, brighter yet again. I wanted to offer all of those just in case, you know, we wanted those differences, depending on the guitar we're playing, depending on if we need something that cuts a little more through the mix. So the B2 setting is going to be a little thinner. A 
beautiful on that neck pickup though. So all very usable settings. Now we'll move to the second level of gain neutral setting on that first channel. A little more edge of breakup now. We can move to the neck pickup here. Moving to B1, neck pickup still. Bridge. And B2, a little brighter still. pickup a little just a tiny bit more edge of breakup there moving on to the second channel now on that neutral setting on the voicing we'll stay on the bridge pickup to B1 on the neck pickup. Bridge pickup. B2. Neck pickup. So you can see a nice variety with that voicing switch. Moving on to the second level of gain back in the bridge pickup. Channel two. I really like that neutral setting. It's nice and warm sounding. On to B1. And B2. And here it's thinner, it gets a little more bite to it. Neck pick up. Moving on to the third level of gain in the neutral setting. That again is on the neck pickup back to the bridge. It's going to be a little thinner here. Now moving on to the 2.4 settings. This is channel two set on the highest level of gain. Now using the neutral to B1 to B2 setting really didn't have a dramatic effect and I really didn't feel it was worthwhile capturing it. It was just gonna be rather redundant. <laughs> to channel three on the first level of game. And moving 
moving on to the final level of gain. <laughs> Neck pick up. All right, so there you have it. Let's move on to the same tones, but for Neural Amp Modeler. Okay, so here we are on Neural Amp Modeler. I have the exact same tones captured the exact same way as we did for Tonex. These are going to sound very, very similar. Uh, I find both Tonex and Neural Amp Modeler do an absolutely spectacular job of capturing the amps we're working on. The naming convention is going to be similar, JS Ecstasy 35L Alt. One being the channel, the first number being the channel. You can see here I've named these the same way. Uh, the second number being the level of gain within that channel. And then we notate whether we're using the NB1 or B2 voicing switch. So starting here on, I'm going to go through these a little quicker. So the end setting on the first level of gain on channel one. We'll move up to the neck pickup. Move on to the B1 setting. B2 setting. This is the bridge pickup. Okay, moving on to the second level of gain on the neutral setting on the voicing switch. Neck pickup. Stay on the neck pickup. We'll go to the next voicing B1. Bridge pickup. Finally to B2. Just thins out a little bit more. Beautiful stuff all around. We'll go to the second channel on the neutral setting. One setting, I am back on the bridge pickup. Neck pickup. And we'll go to the B2 setting. Staying on the neck pickup. Right, moving on to the second level of gain on the neutral setting on the voicing switch. Neck pickup. Moving on to B1 voicing. 
bracing. Bridge. Move on to the B2 setting on that second level of gain on the second channel. Move on to the third level of gain on that second channel in the neutral setting. to the B1 setting on that third level of gain. Still on the neck pickup. Go to the bridge. And finally, the B2 setting on that level of gain. And finally, we'll go to the fourth level of gain, which is just on the one voicing setting. And finally, we'll go to that third channel, a first level of gain. That's bridge, we'll go to the neck picker. And the final level of gain. Pick up. And there you have it. Let's move over to Quad Cortex. So here we are over for Quad Cortex. Now you'll see that I have my preset JS Ecstasy 35L Ultimate. What I've done is I've just taken a selection of the neural captures. I have the same number of captures as I did for NAM and for Tonex. They're gonna sound quite similar, but I decided to make a six scene preset. So utilizing, you know, 1.1B1, for scene one, 2.1n for scene B, scene C is going to be 2.2n and so on and so forth. So you'll get to hear kind of a, a preset that I've put together utilizing these neural captures. Scene A is gonna sound like this. Neck pick up. Nice stuff. Moving on to scene B, which is going to be a little more edge of breakup now. Neck pickup. Really 
nice stuff. Scene C. Now, obviously, if you don't like my choices for the scenes, you could go pick a different neural capture from my list over here, slightly voice different. I went with the neutral setting here. Maybe you would prefer the B1 or the B2 setting. But... Preset is more just to get you off the ground and running. So moving on to the next scene, which is scene D. Finally, scene F, which is going to be channel three of the sample with a little bit of delay. Right, there you have it. What did you guys think? I hope that that was at least somewhat enjoyable getting to hear these tones. There's a lot of tones here. Like I said, this is a very versatile amp. Goes all the way from those beautiful clean tones all the way up to just about as much distortion as you could ever possibly want. So I hope that that was enjoyable and I hope you liked hearing them both in and out of the mix. Links are below to all of the different capture collections if you're so inclined and want to grab some for your own particular capturing platform of choice. They're there down below. So please like the video, share it with anybody you think would get some your enjoyment of watching it. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. Thank you guys again so much for sharing your time with me. Ciao for now.